what song they singing, what single they got coming out, what they doing, what their budgets are, what they life are. I want way more money than what I have right now, but I don't want it because another man had it. When another man has success or more success than you by definition, they are here to show you what's possible. You are not supposed to be losing sleep over all of the things that God had in mind for them. So I just want to put this out there, man. Listen, continue to be inspired and respecting and looking up to people who are talented, visionaries, who have all of the gifts and talents and all of the capabilities in the world. But please know, I am a human being. I'm going to hurt you and disappoint you and let you down from certain things that I may say and do and certain issues I may have with other people. But I am human. And all of these other people that y'all put all the way up there, they are human too. And nobody's problem and issues and situations are the same. But man, in 2024, just ask God, to re-energize your purpose, re-energize your magic and your spark. Ask God to, to order your footsteps and help you to run your race. God, I don't want what another man has. What another man has, what he has done, what he has accomplished is only showing me what's possible. I want what you have in mind for me. That's the prayer. And some of y'all wonder, after 25 years, I just turned 45 years old. After 25 years, what keeps me humble? What keeps me like a three-year-old kid in disbelief about anybody who says and does anything nice for me? Or any movie I book, or any concert, any show, any album, anything that I do. What makes me remain childlike, just really like, wow, I tell you what remains, what, what keeps me humble and grateful over what I drive and what I live in and the life that I live every single day, because I literally come from nothing. So imagine me losing sleep over what another nigga is doing and what he got, and I'm comparing my life and my career and my status to somebody else. First of all, motherfucker, I didn't even know I was going to get here. So why am I losing sleep over what somebody else got compared to me? Run your race. Ask God to create this feeling. If y'all want me to describe my life, look at this. I, to this day, I thank God for the fire and the desire that's burning inside my stomach. This represents vision, determination, willpower, uh, uh, ambition, just being aggressive about your mission. Because another thing, y'all can pray all you want, but y'all know prayer without works is dead. That's not an opinion of God. That is the word of God. Prayer without works is dead. Some of y'all niggas are frustrated and mad but y'all praying, but you ain't doing no work. Don't compare your life to nobody else's life when you ain't out here get putting that work in. Get off your lazy ass. There's way more than you can do. The amount of people that you have in your phone that's in real estate, that's in tech, that's in crypto, that sing, that produce, that rap, that do music, that's doing conferences, that's doing this. Everything you could ever want to learn and know about success, the mentality of success, it's either in a book that you likely won't pick up, it's a YouTube video that you likely won't watch, there's all kind of websites with everything that you could ever Google, imaginable, where everybody is laying out all of the basic, basic, and the specific details in and around how you can get off your lazy ass and take care of your life, your kids, and your family. But you motherfuckers want to cut in line and just skip. You want to go fuck this girl, hang out with this guy, do this, 
run around, play games, be on your Instagram, and ain't doing no fucking work. If I asked you right now as an actor, yo, man, let me see your reel. Do you have a reel? You don't. Oh, you ain't been booked for nothing. You know, when people put reels together, they don't necessarily have to book TV shows and movies in order to put an acting reel together. They can actually go create some shit on their own because people just want to know what are you capable of doing? What are you capable, where are you capable of going as a performer, as an actor? Some of y'all are insta-famous. You can sing your ass off on the internet, but what do you sound like when you go to the studio? Oh, you're recording, but you haven't mastered being a recording artist. So you sound amazing online. But what happens when you put that same voice with all them runs and all that shit you're doing? What happens when you put it on a microphone? You do understand that there's a huge gray area between being talented and can sing your ass off versus how you sound in the studio, right? This is what I'm saying, man. We have to, we have to focus and develop ourselves, our thinking, our hustle, our grind, our approach. There's a reason that the outcome of these situations continue hitting a wall because you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, expecting the outcome to be different. Come on, man. I'm just letting y'all know, man. I love y'all. If y'all can do me a favor, if y'all make it to the end of this video, man, I don't want y'all to do nothing for me. You ain't got to like it. You ain't got to comment. I just want you to tag like four people in it. Somebody needs to hear this. Some of y'all are in the gym right now. You're going to be working out for the next two weeks. Then you're going to fall off and go right back to not working out, not doing shit to, to, to move things forward. I'm going to get my shit together for 2024. Come on, man. We didn't all started working out as soon as the year hits. Everything is about consistency, man. Yo, I'm going to crash, bro. I'm going to tell y'all right now. Look at this face. He a little tired right now. That's my brother J. Rail right there. Yo, what up? The future. Yes, sir. Remember I said it. J. Rail is the guy. Okay. Remember I said it. Yeah. Hartford, Connecticut. Huh? Uh, New Haven, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. New Haven. <laughs> New Haven, Connecticut. Remember I said it. Down here in my studio, man. I just finished my studio. Y'all see the V, baby. Listen, man. It's time, man. I'll see you tomorrow, bro. Okay, bro. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. We got to, uh, let's get Jamie on in the morning and, and figure out that latency, all right? Appreciate you, bro. It's time, man. It's time to get it, man. It's time. Mm. It's time, man. Hey, can, hey, Jay. Can you help me put this food up, man? Yeah. We can't leave this out. Look at that. My God. My God. Turkey legs, huh? That's hitting on. My God. <laughs>